Good evening, everyone, Madam Chair, members of the board, Dr. Heron. Um, we want to thank you for this opportunity and invitation to be with you all this evening. Um, as Dr. Heron expressed earlier, April is the month of the military child. And so um, our featured pilot program that we're going to share with you this evening is Anchored for Life. Um, I've got a couple of friends with me this evening who will be sharing with you, um, and I'm extremely grateful for their presence this evening. Um, we'll have Katrina Patterson, who is our Navy liaison officer. Um, we're also going to have James O'Neill, who did the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. He's a proud fourth grade penguin at our school. Um, he's also one of the team leaders with uh, Anchored for Life. And then we have our dynamic and awesome school counselor, Amy Meister, um, who's one of the program sponsors. Um, all of them will be sharing with you this evening. And um, I do want to give a shout out to my amazing assistant principal who put together our video this evening. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to have Katrina Patterson to share with you all. Good evening, everyone. As um, Ms. Swan mentioned, I'm Katrina Patterson. I'm the Navy School Liaison Officer, and I work at the Naval Weapons Station in Yorktown. And it was an honor for me, to, it is an honor for me to be here this evening to support Rawls Bird in their efforts in piloting and implementing the Anchor for Life program. Last year, I was approached by our regional school liaison officer. Her name is Deborah Patch, and she wanted some names of some schools that would probably take part in this program. And Rawls Bird was one of my first choices because I've worked with Rawls Bird before, before Ms. Meister, um, Myrtle Meyer, the counselor, I worked with her. And so she was very supportive. And so I wanted to continue that relationship because Ms. Swan has been very supportive of the school liaison officer program. And so I do want you to know as well, I presented this program to other schools and some other school districts because I also work with York County, Newport News, and Gloucester. Rawlsburg was the only school that was willing to take on this challenge, so I'm very honored that they did that. A couple of other schools were like, oh, it might be a little bit, little bit of an extra effort. They were a little hesitant to try it, but I'm truly thankful for Rawlsburg for trying out this program, and they know that they have my support. So, um, so I think that's all I have to say about it. Um, the word has gotten out about the program. I understand there was a counselor's meeting last week, and I did meet with your counselor, James River, today. She's very excited, so I look forward to working with her. And also Matoka Elementary, I believe the counselor there is interested. So I'm just excited about working with some more schools with our military. Thank you for recognizing April as month of the military child. I appreciate that as well. And I believe that's all I have to say about the program, but they do know that they have my support. At this time, we're going to have James come up, and he's going to talk a little bit about the program. Awesome team leader. Good evening. My name is James O'Neill, and I am in the fourth grade at Rawlsburg Elementary School. Last November, we were invited to participate in a program called Anchored for Life. Our new our Navy liaison officer, Katrina Patterson, and a company called Trevor O'Main brought trainers to the Ross Bird to teach six of us how to be ambassadors in our school. The goal is to build confident leaders who inspire others. As Ingrid for Life team leaders, we help in many ways, including welcoming new students and giving tours, helping students transition if they're moving to a new school, and also in preparing for military deployments or returns. This year was our pilot year for our program. We were able to implement many parts of the program, but we hope to fully implement it school-wide next year. We would like to take this time to thank the United States Navy for funding this awesome program. We are excited to share this video highlighting Anchored for Life at our school. So in Anchor for Life, they supply us with kits that we can give out to the different students. And it is um, funded through our military liaisons. Anchor for Life is a program for all kids, but it's especially focused on military kids. It's when, like, if a child moves, then they can be sort of upset. That's what they're for. We're there for. We give out moving kits. Anchor for Life is a great program that encourages leadership from our kids. And we have the comfort crew that is, has been trained 
and leadership skills and supporting others in our school and it really encourages them to take responsibility and step up as leaders and I'm really excited about this program to be part of our school. It's a program for students whose parents are going, being deployed and for kids who are new and for kids that are moving. Hi, my name is Katie and I am the registrar here at Rollsburg. Um, what I do is I, when a parent comes in to enroll their child or their student, I will then um, email Ms. Meister. I will let her know that we have a new student and the day and where they are coming from and what day they are going to arrive. She will then let the kids know, the team leaders, when the child is going to be here. Then when the child comes for the first day, instead of me giving them a tour, they're given a tour by the uh, team leaders, which is you know nice because they're at the same age and they have any questions or they're shy. It's a little bit easier to ask a, a friend rather than an adult. This is um, a little string backpack for any new students who come to our building. So when our registrar calls one of our team leaders down to give a tour to a new student, they would give them this and his school supplies and some a moving journal, um, all about my new school, and some school supplies and um, things to help them adjust to the new school. We have kits for all ages and most of them include a magnet, a teddy bear, a notebook, and all and the information that you need for the for to get to your class on time and who your teacher is. There is this bear. Uh, his name is Cuzzy. Cuzzy Can. <laughs> friends who are and they said that it's one of the worst times in their life because they don't know anyone and they're pretty much alone they don't know where to go they get lost that's what they're for we're there for we give out coming welcome kits to the children who are just coming to our school so I they won't feel so unhappy and the anchored for life members are always there for them to like help them like find all the places and like know where everything is and, like it makes them a lot more comfortable in the school. She was very small and I kind of took her around on a tour around the school and I showed her like the main highlights like the nurse's office, this office, and the courtyard and the playground and then we'll take her to the, her classroom and right before we walk in we give her a kit. It's a lot of fun and, and I, 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 w I want to like help out kids who are like moving and all that stuff. It can be difficult at times because none of us always agree but sort of we always have to give a little get a little but we always find a solution. It's, we never yell at each other. We try to do it with democracy. And I think that's a good idea. We practiced giving the kits to, um, to each other and like saying, and like showing the things that are in it. Miss Haight helps lead us and she sort of teaches us little by little at every meeting. Same thing with Miss Meister. On the training day, we had a representative from Anchored for Life come to us and they taught us the basics, like how to give a gift. And we role played, which is a bit weird, but it actually helped. <laughs> Cards, so 
I'm Karen Swan, the very proud principal of Rawls Bird Elementary School, soon to be Laurel Lane. We have the program Anchored for Life, and um, it's very exciting. I think um, the big pieces behind it is the empowerment um, of allowing kids to be resilient and really focusing on transition um, and how to be able to cope when transition happens. Um, I think we sometimes overlook the fact that kids go through transition just like adults do and um, they may not be able to voice it or verbalize it the same way that we do as adults, uh, but this gives an opportunity to really be able to um, tap into feelings, to emotions, um, to have a sense of community, um, which is so hugely important to us. Um, but when that connection is there, kids are able to be impacted in good ways when it comes to learning. And so we're looking at the whole child, the whole student, um, and bringing together our Penguin family of just being able to have that connectedness, um, collaboration, and care for one another. And so when we can bring those pieces together, um, we see huge success that starts to happen in the classroom when learning takes place. Looking forward to having more leaders and involving more kids. Right now we only have six kids trained, but next year we're looking to add a, um, a leader from each classroom who can be there to welcome their peers and the new students and to help kids that are leaving and to help them with saying goodbye and getting the care packages before they leave. We've been able to definitely implement the beginning of the program. We've received all of our kits. Um, there are some things in the program that we're really looking forward to being able to fully implement next year that haven't gotten off the ground this year. And we're excited to include one student in every classroom who will be called a comfort crew. So the, the student leaders would maybe show a new student around the building, but next year they would also have somebody in their class who would then be kind of like their buddy or ambassador to show them around other things like lunch or going to gym or going to music and things that our tour guide may not be able to show them around that day. I think that Anchored for Life provides a really great place for us to have students learn leadership and open up ideas for new students coming in, um, think about other people, have empathy for um, other students who deal with things like military deployment, even though their, ch their parents not in, in the military, they learn, oh, that's what it's like for other children who have a parent in the military. Um, the program is very much designed so that the students, these team leaders, are the ones who are running the program and encouraging other students coming up with their ideas. When we do a service project, they're the ones who come up with what they want the service project to do. They come up with the ideas, they come up with the activities. So even though there are advisors like myself and Mrs. Haight, the students very much, it encourages them to um, increase and improve their youth development so that they have those skills for later on in school and in life. once that I had to do a closing statement. So um, I'm Amy Meister, I'm the school counselor, and um, I just wanted to um, just as a closing statement show you, um, this is one of our kits, and this is Cuzzy, the one that you heard about, and um, again, through our wonderful military liaison, we've received 175 of these kits. And so any student, military or not, that comes in, gets one of the backpacks or leaving, this is one of the moving kits. And it includes um, postcards for their class to write their names on, um, for the military kids, dog tags that their parent and they can wear while they're deployed. Um, every kit has a parent portfolio in it, so we always tell them, or the kids do, to take home um, that part of their kit, and this is the family guidebook, for example, so it, it may let that grandparent or parent know who's um, still home with the child, what are some ways you can help your child during the deployment or during moving, and they also do give two kits that the kids don't give out, that I do as a counselor, and one is for divorce and separation, and the other kit is for grief. So those are given out by adults, but there's additional kits that are 
um, funded and wonderful through that. So thank you for letting us spot out, spotlight our program tonight. We appreciate your time.